What's going on, everybody? My name is Rob Wynn, and I help businesses unlock the power of AI with voice agents. And today, I'm going to show you something really cool. It's going to be how you can run custom code in your make.com automations using a service called AWS Lambda. Now, make.com is great for automations. It's uh, an excellent low and no code platform. But with that setup, the low and no code does come some limitations. Sometimes you need something a little bit more robust, a little bit more involved, some custom code. So that's where AWS Lambda can come in and you can run these custom code functions in your make.com automations and have everything fully integrated. So that's what I'm gonna show you how to do today. I'm gonna to show you how you can set up the function in AWS Lambda, how you can integrate it into your make.com flows and how you can test it out to make sure everything's working correctly. So let's dive in. So here we are in make.com and we're just gonna use a super simple basic trigger for this one, just gonna set up some simple variables. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and add a Lambda function. We're going to invoke a function, but before we do that, let's actually create our Lambda function. So we're gonna hop over here to AWS Lambda uh, if you don't have a AWS account, it's very easy to set one up. You can go ahead and do that first. But once you're logged in, you'll want to navigate to the Lambda service and you'll come to the screen where you have a list of all your functions and you'll simply create a new function, give it a name, select your runtime. For this one, we'll just use Python and we will create the function by clicking the orange button down here. Give it a second. And that'll bring us to the function editor. And if we scroll down a little bit, we'll come to the actual code editor portion where we can implement our code and set up our logic. So if you're not familiar with Lambda, each Lambda function has two parameters, an event parameter and a context parameter. The context parameter is sort of metadata for the function. You can disregard that in most use cases. The event is passed as a Python dictionary it's a JSON object and then parsed into a Python dictionary. So that's how you access it. So real quick, I'll just write the logic for our particular code, which is going to be simply adding two numbers together, which we will pass from make.com as arguments into the Lambda function when we invoke it with that module. So we'll just write this, we'll just write standard Python code. And I'm getting these variable names from the make.com trigger module where I set them up. I'll show you that in a second. Add them together, and then we'll simply return the result. Now, once you've written your logic, you'll deploy your function by clicking deploy. And a good idea also is to test your function before passing in any variables in make. So you can do that by clicking test. You can create a new test event. For something simple like this, we can simply keep this uh, hello world format, and then just rename the variable names with what we need. Our variables are going to be num1 and num2, and they are integers, so we'll get rid of those strings. And then you can click invoke to actually test the function. And we can see the response is what we'd expect. So our Lambda function is working correctly when we have a properly formatted payload. So let's navigate back into make.com, and we'll go ahead and add this Lambda module. You'll set up your Lambda connection if you haven't already done so. You'll click this drop down and find your function. Here's our demo func. That's the one we want. Invocation type is request response. And then for the body, you'll want to put this in JSON format. So we'll just type this out manually. You will want to use double quotes here so that it's proper JSON. And then we'll load in the variables that we set up in this basic trigger. Just like that. Close the brackets. Click OK and everything should be working correctly. We'll go ahead and run this once. Oh, I wanna show you this basic trigger. We just set up a couple of variables. You can do this manually in here uh, to get the ball rolling on this scenario. And then we'll click one, uh, run once. And we've got the output from our Lambda function. It correctly added those two together. And then if we wanted to, we could go on and add more modules and use these Lambda outputs as variables in our next module and so on. And it's as easy as that. You have just learned how to run code, in this case, Python, in your make.com scenarios, which can open up so many possibilities for custom automation 
and make your flows much more robust and much more scalable. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you have any thoughts or questions or comments, please leave those in the comments below. If you're interested in more advanced usages of AWS Lambda, go ahead and subscribe and follow because I will be posting more advanced use cases for this type of automation in the future. Other than that, thank you for watching and have a great rest of your day.